All right, Coach, introduce yourself and we'll get started. I'm Kara Consuegra. I'm head coach at Charlotte. You had a couple of weeks to look, look at the team. You're going through practice. What's the, the expectation right now as you see it? Well, I think right now we're just trying to take it day by day and get a little bit better every day. That's our mentality at Charlotte. Uh, we have a very competitive team much more experienced than we've been in the last two years, which has made practice a lot of fun uh, because you have a group of kids that are, one, used to playing with each other, two, understand the standard and the expectation, uh, three, uh, give great effort so we're not coaching effort and we can use our time to, to get better. And uh, so far, practices have honestly been a joy. How much are the freshmen adapting from high school speed to college speed? That's a good question. I think for us, we have four incoming freshmen. Unfortunately, two of those four uh, have been out with injury, so I haven't been able to evaluate them yet. But the two that have been competing have done a tremendous job um, and, quite frankly, probably even exceeded my expectations. Sierra McCullough is from uh, Rock Hill, South Carolina, and um, you know, she, she has the ability to play major minutes for us as a freshman. Just with her ability to adapt quickly, uh, with her competitiveness, with her effort. You, know, you have those traits, you're gonna get on the court for me really well, and Callie Konyuk is a shooter for us from Pittsburgh, and uh, she's been hampered a little bit by injury, but um, she's done a tremendous job competing as well and catching on quickly. Um, I'm asking this one question to pretty much everybody in the room, because I'm, I'm starting to find uh, scheduling, non conference scheduling. You know, the RPI is still a big thing, and, and especially on the women's side. How is that working for you now? It, 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 the conference now has started not be top-heavy anymore. It's starting to balance out. When you're starting to trying to put a schedule together to the talent that you have, how you, is, it, is it becoming harder? Is it, is it kind of like balancing out? I think it's a challenge every year, regardless of how good or bad the league might be, I think. Um, think that as a league we're good enough that it's, it's hard to, to get some power five schools to play us certainly uh, at home at Charlotte you know we don't lose a lot of games in Charlotte um, so I do think it's a it's a challenge so you have to be willing to go on the road a little bit you have to probably be willing uh, if you have the team behind you that can compete to maybe play a couple games that stretch you and make you a little more uncomfortable <laughs> um, but you know for us at Charlotte our, our we want to play in the postseason and so we're not going to just play an 11 game schedule non confidence that just wins this game. We want to be challenged. Uh, we want to have the chance to compete against some really great teams and, and hopefully have a chance to boost our RPI and put us in the conversation with the postseason. Right? The new, are, are there any new um, tweaks uh, as far as rules and all rule changes? Uh, I know the three point line is the, the biggest the biggest thing because it's, it's changed all the way around, and I still believe it should be just universal. One, one line and be done with it. I agree. I'm not a big fan of the two lines. Um, I think plenty of women will shoot from behind uh, the men's line. Um, so I don't know how much that will impact because I think that will happen anyway. I think the 20-second uh, reset on the shot clock will be really interesting. Uh, once you kind of start playing more and see that live, uh, it really feels like you have a lot less time, which obviously you do, on that reset. So I just think speeding the game up a little bit and, and creating more possessions uh, will have a much different feel uh, than it has in the past. Last question. What's going on on, on, on campus? So I'll get focused people that don't know, uh, don't have a clue what's going on, you know, it's just Charlotte, they watch our play, but they don't come by and visit and all, and when you bring recruits in, first time, is it a wow factor, it's like, I didn't know this was here. Charlotte has one is one of the best kept secrets in the, in the South. Uh, we say that, and we hope to get to a point where we don't have to say that anymore. <laughs> Our campus will blow you away. Uh, they've just done a tremendous job with uh, growing, constructing buildings. It's all universal brick, and it, we certainly have a wow factor. And for us, that that's the biggest thing when we recruit student athletes or fans or donors. Come see it. Come see what we have. I, I promise you, it will be even better than you think. Uh, and it certainly has done done that. I think. The, the other thing about Charlotte is that we have the best of both worlds. We have a, a beautiful campus with a, with a small town feel, but we're six miles from one of the largest and fastest growing cities in the United States of America. And the job opportunities, uh, the growth, 
uh, the experiences you can't find uh, at a lot of other places than you can find in Charlotte. All right, Coach, thank you for your time. Reintroduce yourself, and we'll close this out. Again, Kara Consuegra, uh, head coach of Charlotte in my ninth season. This is Jerry Lee Woodley, Jr., the Sports Award, signing out.